When you first download the newsletter to MailChimp, it comes in in black and white, which is great for a lot of agents. But if you want to add more branding color at the top, you need to take a couple of extra steps. First, go to Preview and enter Preview Mode so you can see what the newsletter looks like with your personal information pulled into those merge tags. Also, the yellow instruction box is gone, so you don't need to worry about that. X out of there, and at the top right, you see the Blocks menu and then the Style tab. Click on that, and then you can choose Preheader, Header, Body, whatever you want to change the background color of. I'll choose Preheader, and I'm just going to select this bright yellow. You can choose any color you like or add a hex code. Save at the bottom. And now I want to change the button color, not the whole strip behind the buttons, just the button color itself. So I'll click on a pencil icon for the button and then choose the background color of the button. And now the white text doesn't really look good on that bright yellow background I selected, so I'll change the button text style. I'll choose black here, and that looks much better. I'll apply to all existing button blocks so I don't have to recreate that. I'll choose Preview, Enter Preview Mode, and that looks pretty good. But I still want to add a little bit more branding, so I'll X out of Preview, and now an easy way to add some branding, go to the Blocks menu, drag an image block over, and drop it where it says Drop Content Blocks here. That's an empty area you can use however you like. It won't show up if you don't put anything there. I'll click on an iconic image from my neighborhood. I'll insert that image. While I've got that image edit area open on the right, I'm going to click Settings. I'm going to choose Margins Edge to Edge to enlarge the image. Now I'm going to go up to Preview, Enter Preview Mode, and that looks ready to send.